Welcome back to the Vimitrader Analyze series. In the last video, I showed you guys how I start analyzing data. I basically just get a bunch of cards together, one tag at a time, and look for common things. What are they doing well? What are they not doing so well? And I said, when the expected value is negative, what this trader can do to improve their profitability is just stop doing that thing, right? He had a negative expected value for quick entry trades, stop taking quick entry trades. Now that's all well and good. I do think that that is good general advice, but it doesn't have to be the case, right? Just because you have a negative expected value on a strategy doesn't mean it's actually a losing strategy. There might be aspects to it that you can tweak to make it profitable. Now, how do you do that? Well, what you wanna do is take a closer look at the data. So if we look at his quick entry, again, negative 0.06 expected value, he is losing when he takes quick entry trades. But if we start to really dig into the data, so what we can look for here is things like interval, direction. Uh, we can't look at strategy because they're all the one strategy, but we can look at symbol as well, right? He might find that he is doing really well on Bitcoin and really badly uh, elsewhere. So what we can do is we can start to really break down this data. So when I look at this, let's look at the interval specifically. So the one hour, couple of wins, 15 minute got a nice win, one hour a loss, couple of losses on the one hour. I feel like the one hour is actually gonna be a positive expected value because there was a loss or two, but there was quite a few wins. So we can take a look at that, look at that, right? So all of a sudden, the advice is not stop taking quick entry trades, it is start taking quick entry one hour trades. Uh, maybe the four hour, right? Let's have a look at how the four hour performs. Four hour is bad, right? Four hour gets worse. So obviously something is happening on the four hour when this trader is quick entering trades that's just not quite working for him. Maybe he has a different strategy for that. Um, maybe it's you know a patience thing. Uh, there is many, many causes, but the beauty of this is you don't need to know the causes of why things aren't working for you. You can just see that they're not working. So the 15 minute is the same, right? Now three is not a ton of data, but again, the 15 minutes, he has a negative 0.25 expected value. So before while I was saying, hey, don't take quick entry trades, this trader, now that I've actually dug into the data a little bit, I can say, okay, you can take quick entry trades, but it has to be on the one hour time frame because that's where they're actually working out for you. They're not working for you on other time frames. Uh, there was something that I wanted to check, Bitcoin, right? We can look at how does he perform on BTC USDT swap, because that is the one that he has traded, compared to how does he perform on alts. So if we look at that, we see that he has a 0.8 expected value. So that is phenomenal. Now again, four trades, not a ton of data, but all of a sudden I can say, hey, on the quick entry, you're actually doing really, really well when you trade Bitcoin. If you trade alts, which we can check by doing this. So one of my favorite things is you can just exclude, right? BTC, USDT, swap. And all of a sudden you'll only be seeing those alt trades because you're ignoring all the Bitcoin trades. Well, all of a sudden the expected value goes back to negative 0.26. So again, my advice now may not be, hey, don't take quick entry trades, which is what it was in the last video. It becomes, hey, when you're taking quick entry trades, you can take them on Bitcoin, but you can't take them anywhere else because that is costing you money. Or you can take them on a one hour, but you can't take them on other time frames because that is costing you money. So by doing this, you will become more profitable because all of a sudden you're not doing the things that are costing you that money. You will see your profitability increase really, really quickly. So that is how you take a negative expected value strategy and actually refine it to become a positive expected value. You look at common themes on your wins within that strategy, like we found on Bitcoin, like we found on the one hour time frame. Um, and you know, when you, when you have your user tags, especially with the custom journal, you might find common things there. You might find that you're always doing really, really well on a MACD cross. Uh, you might find that you're always doing really, really well on a uh, break of trend, right? And so you might look at your quick entry and it's actually negative, but then you start adding your user tags and you start seeing it become positive. So that is how you turn a negative expected value strategy into a profitable strategy. You can refine it by going through the data like that. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at an already profitable strategy and see how we can make it more profitable, how we can increase that efficiency.